Hey Fox, what's up? Today we are diving into a super powerful indicator. Also, I will show you how we managed to bank starting from just $16. Before we get started guys, don't forget to check the description to this video where you will find two links to my Telegram channel. If you drop me a line there, I will send you a registration link to Pocket Option that grants you 50% deposit bonus. I'm also sharing daily trading signals there, so welcome to the fam. All right, let's kick this off. We're looking at the euro and OC dollar pairing with a one minute expiration time right now. So uh, going in for a rise. So guys, let's take a closer peek at the chart to see what's driving this exact move. Notice how the chart has reached a support level after a little dip. So this dip's just a correction and now we can tell cause of the rising trend so you see that yellow line on my chart that's actually the moving average the thing that I always use in my trading sessions also our chart stepped out of the Caltern channels bottom border and that's a solid hint to go in for a rise now have a look at this MACD histogram bar they are showing the lines getting chummy, hinting at potential growth. One more indicator here. Bingo! Our trade ended on a high note. That's how we start Fox. Time to up the ante and increase our investment. Let's scout for the next big opportunity. Switching over to the Canadian dollar and yen pairing and batting on a drop here. Let's zoom into this chart. That moving average shows the rate has been dropping. Then we see the price corridor where the rate is bouncing between the top and the bottom here. Basically, it's moving sideways. So you see that sideways swipe on the MACD's low volatility bars too. Well, we're in, right at the Keltner Channel's top edge. With this sideways action, the Keltner Channel borders give us the price range. So enter at the top border and we are likely seeing a bounce. Right, right here, yeah. And yeah, we've got another winner. The balance is up to 51 bucks. Let's keep rolling and up our game. For now, let's keep an eye on this pair. I reckon we can make some decent cash of its wide ranging moves. Right here. Right? Going in again with a bet on the drop and the reason is actually the same i entered near the channel stop so i'm guessing the price will bounce back but on the flip side the macd shows the green light crossing the red that hands at a rise plus that moving average is hinting at a trend reversal So here is the thing, we've got this fantastic friend or fantastic body called the Keltner channel and this guy helps us see both low volatility like when it's tricky to catch a resistance level and the price range during sideways action. So what we're seeing here is that the price has returned to the channel's middle. Boom! Another win! $95 in the bank, so let's roll that back in and keep our eyes peeled. I'm gonna draw a line on the chart so you all can see. The price is rising. But man, it's doing it slow, so no strong uptrend charts just yet. Well, jumping back in with a bet on the drops in reasons as before, so I won't repeat myself here. Instead, let's guys chart about the Keltner channel. So it's middle line, that's the average of the top and the bottom lines, and 
the top and bottom borders so they are um, showing how far the price trace from its like average originally the calendar channel strategy was a no-brainer price bust through the channel upwards that's your cue for long position since the balls are in town if it breaks downward the bears rule and you want to sell you would definitely want to sell well also this body helps a spot sideways movement like now and get the lay of the land when it comes to price ranges and what do you know another killer trade and we are sitting at 177 dollars i say we stick with this fabulous trading pair for a bit more but here is something you need to know keltner cooked up this indicator back in the day when things were simpler no computers trading bots or fancy platforms were used to and just went in again betting on a drop guys by the moving average looks like the ball trends picking up and the price might jump soon but i still spot a chance for a quick one minute deal well coming back to the indicator chat these days relying solely on the calvin channel can be a little bit um, stupid the mark has grown and evolved big time showing these fake outs were where the price jumps out of the channel for a hot second before sliding right back. So here is a hot tip for you all guys. I, I would suggest hop in on the Keltner channel signals only when you get a nod from other ind ind indicators like the MACD or general chart analysis. Now we've seen that move towards the channel's middle line, but the chart is whispering a breakout it's just around the corner. So trying to stand again? We might be playing with fire, so let's switch gears, Fox, British Pound and Swiss Franc, going in with a bat and a drop. By the moving average, looks like we're on a downward slope now. So you see this little uptick? I'm seeing it as a correction after hitting a support level. This chart has been playing outside the channel for a while. And if you have a look at the MACD, lines are cozying up, hinting we're in for, for a dip. Hence, I'm banking on the chart heading back into the channel, so I've placed a bet on a drop. This is what I was harping on earlier. The channel, when paired up with other indicators, gives us a pretty solid red on the market. And as we are eyeballing the chart now, it's getting friendly again with its middle line. Right, that was a solid move. $587 in the pocket. Let's count some other pairs to make a few more bucks today. Heading over to the Euro USD and placing a bet on rice, let's deep dive into this chart. You see how our chart's kind of sneaking outside the Keltner's boundaries? It's not its first rodeo, but after it nudges those edges, it bumps right into it. Let's catch that level out on the chart for clarity. I'm sensing a bounce back from here, so you would ask me why. Just let's peek at the MACD. Those columns show the lines getting chummy and they're signaling an upcoming rise. Do you see that, guys? Um, we are in a downtrend right now, and yeah, that level is gonna get knocked down. But first, we will see a bit of zigzag, that is correction, and then, boom, that level is going down. All right, things are a bit DC right now, I'm not seeing a big moves, but let's hang tight. The chart is bouncing back, bringing in the goods for us. Yeah, bingo! We've crossed the $1,000 mark in our account. Let's go all in and shift our gaze to the next chart. Okay, US dollar to yen pair. I'm diving in with a bat on the drop. Seems pretty clear to me, but let's break down those signals. Well, mm, 
we've got a rising trend, but hang on, volatility is in the slow lane. The price is moving within range I just marked on the chart, right? Also, peep this, a classic candlestick pattern. The inverted hammer signaling a market drop and this bad boy popped up right at the top boundary of our price corridor. Meaning, while prices are ticking up, it's happening at a snail's pace. And when you're in the next resistance level, it's just dilly-dallying, not quite ready to bust through. And hooray! Our prediction adds $1,866 to our balance. Now let's move it along to the next pair, Aussie dollar to yen. Going in with a bat on the drop, so let's dissect this chart. Let me do this for you. MACD is throwing a growth signal. Lines have crossed and are heading separate ways, but there is no stabbing outside the Keltner's boundaries. Still, this indicator is showing some pretty lazy volatility. Look here. Two consolidation zones, one up and one down. Kind of like a two-story house with the price hanging out between the two, actually. Given this sluggish market wipe, I'm batting on more of the same. Well, 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 Fox. Our prediction's hitting the mark. As the trade wraps up, I say we call it a day. The session was a sweet success, netting us a total of $2,636. Wow, congrats! Thanks for watching till the end, guys. Today we spoke about a killer trading tool that was Keltner Indicator and I showed you how we can make from a mere $16 a whopping $2,600 just in 15 minutes. Hope you like this video. If so, give this video a thumbs up, ask me any questions in comments and I will try to help you and understand all the basics of the trading session. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch other videos on my YouTube channel. I wish you a successful trading session. Bye-bye.